angle relationships. Okay, we're going to be talking about various angle relationships here. The first one we're going to discuss is a linear pair of angles. Now when you have a linear pair of angles, you should recognize that term from chapter one and know that a linear pair of angles are angles that form a straight line together. It's right there in the term linear, line. Okay, so anytime you have a straight line, okay, so I'm going to draw a line. You can pick any point on this line. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have two points so I can name the line. We can call this x, y. Okay, and then you can pick any other point on here. It doesn't matter where it is and draw a ray in any direction from that point. So your ray can come to make an acute angle all the way over to an obtuse angle. It doesn't matter. You can pick anywhere. There. That's where I chose. Okay, and I'm going to put a point on here so I can use it to name. I've just created a linear pair because if you remember in your vocab, two angles that share a side, okay, so this angle and this angle, okay, they share this side of the ray WZ, okay, and then their two non-adjacent sides, okay, the ones that aren't shared, okay, form a straight line, okay, that's the definition of a linear pair. So you can draw a linear pair and you'll see it anytime there's a line um, with any sort of intersection. So we would say that angle x, z, w and angle, make sure you are practicing naming your angles correctly because that's not going to go away. We're going to use that all year. So remember if you trace w, z, y are a linear pair. Okay, so two angles that form a straight line together. Okay, and we know that a straight line is, that's called a straight angle, it's 180 degrees, okay? Because you can see these arcs I drew, if I drew this, it's half a circle, 180 degrees. Okay, so the rule or the conjecture you need to write for this states that if two angles form a linear pair, then the measure of the angles adds up to 180 degrees, okay? Or you could say they are supplementary because supplementary is two angles that add to 180. All right, and the second pair of angles we're talking about are vertical angles, okay? And vertical angles are two angles that are across from each other when you have intersecting lines, and you should recognize that from chapter one when we did our vocab cards. Anytime you have intersecting lines, you're creating four angles. One, two, three, and four the ones that are across from each other or non-adjacent. Remember non-adjacent is uh, not next to each other. So in this picture it would be one and three are non-adjacent, so they are vertical, and two and four. Okay, so we could say angle one and angle three are a vertical pair, and we could say angle two and angle four are a vertical pair. Okay, the rule for vertical pairs that we need to know is that they are congruent. Okay, so the conjecture that you're going to write down says that if two angles are vertical angles, then they have equal measures or they're congruent. Okay, if you don't remember, this is the symbol for congruent. You can write down the word congruent, but you do need to start recognizing your symbols and abbreviations that we're going to use a lot. Okay, and we mark congruent angles with arcs. So we could say angle one, and angle three are congruent. Okay, if I did two and four, I couldn't now put one arc here and one arc here because these two are not congruent. So I'll go two arcs. Okay, or you could do the tick marks on the arc. Okay, those were the two options we learned about naming and marking angles. All right, so now we're going to practice. Uh, a few problems using those rules. So the instructions here ask us to not use a protractor, just our two new conjectures, find the measures of each uh, missing angle, the ones with the letters. Okay, so you should copy these into your notes. So for number one, okay, we have one intersection. 
We know that at this intersection, the angles across from each other, the vertical angles, are congruent. So angle A would also be 60 degrees. Okay, and then if you look A and B together, or you could say B and the given angle, either one, they're forming a straight line. So these form this straight line, and these are then a linear pair. And we said that a linear pair should add to 180 degrees. So if we are going to add those to 180 degrees, we take what we've used away from 180, we subtract. That leaves us with 120 degrees for angle B. Okay, you could do that again here. Notice this is a linear pair, or you could realize, hey, vertical pair, hey, okay, vertical angles, this one will also be 120 degrees. Angle two, you need to know your markings. This marking that looks like a box or a square means that it is a 90 degree angle. So angle uh, A and this 90 degree angle form a linear pair together. So they should add to 180. Okay, 90 is half of 180. Okay, so this would also be 90 because 90 plus 90 is 180. If you didn't know that, that's okay. Come off to the side and do the subtraction and then you will realize, oh, that's also 90. Okay, if we look at these two intersecting lines, A and B are vertical angles. So this is also 90. And that leaves this angle here. This entire angle is 90 degrees. Okay, but they've then split it with this ray, and this side is 40. Well, if we know the whole thing is 90, okay, then what is left for C? We'll take away what we've used, which is 40, and we are left with 50 degrees. In picture three, there's a few different intersections. Okay, so you have to be careful when you're looking at these. I will uh, highlight so you can see what picture I want you looking at. So first, let's look at this line and this line intersecting. Okay, so the vertical angles would be B and 52. So this angle, B, is 52 degrees. Okay, and then let's look at these lines intersecting. Okay, so 51 is across from D. So D is 51. Okay, now if we look at the next set, we see we're going to use this line and this line. A and C are vertical angles. Well, that's great. I know they're congruent, but I don't know what either of them actually measure, so I need to figure that out. And if you look straight across this line here, is 180 degrees, a straight line. So these three angles together, or these three angles together, you can look top or bottom, should all add up to 180 degrees. So I have used 52 and 51. So 52 and 51 is 103. I've used 103 of my 180. So find out what is left for that middle angle. Don't forget, uh, when you're subtracting, you need to borrow that. So that leaves me with 77 degrees for angle C and angle A. All right, now I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit so you can see numbers four and five. Okay, number four has three different intersections, so I've highlighted them for you. In the green highlighted, A is vertical to 60, so it is 60. Okay, then we have a linear pair. So 180 minus 60 is 120. So B and C are both 120. In the yellow highlighted area, E is vertical to 65. So it is equal, 65. Okay, then we have linear pairs. So 180 minus 65, you are left with 115 for F and D. In the pink highlighted area, 55 is vertical with H. 
and that li gives us a linear pair here. So 55 from 180, okay, you are left with 125. Okay, so 125 for I and 125 for G. All right, last but not least, number five. Again, these are three different intersections, so we're going to look at them separately. In the yellow highlighted one, this box means 90. So A should be 90. Okay, that's the only one lettered there, so they don't even ask for these. If they did, we know that they would also be 90. We can use the box to mark it, or we could use actually write out 90 degrees pink highlighted box in the middle. This intersection has B vertical to 163. Vertical angles are congruent, so that is 163. Okay, that makes a linear pair, 163 and C, okay, or this 163 and C form this line. Either way you look at it, it's a linear pair, so you take 180, subtract what we've used, which is the 163, and that leaves us with 17 degrees for angle C. In the blue highlighted box, last but not least, the vertical angles are 70 and E, okay, and then 70 and D are a linear pair. Linear pair, supplementary, take what you've used from 180, leaves you with 110 degrees. Okay, so hopefully that's been some good practice, it's just repetition. Um, Make sure you've got this in your notes and uh, come to class ready to do this assignment.